Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. If you wish to invest in AMC, I cannot advise you. I can advise you to purchase, hold, or sell. I could care less what you do. One thing that individuals did was overextend themselves financially. They went out of control. They invest more money than they can realistically afford. They require the funds back. AMP did not increase and actually decreased. They did not sell at the highest prices when, if you were like me, your accounts were up tens and tens of thousands of dollars. People did not leave, you were diamond-handed and yelled, and look where you are now. Actually, you are being diluted. Inverted divide 10 to 1. Again, I have never given a price, dates, brackets, or anything else. I have faith in AMC. People have a problem with my negative comments about AMC because I am affecting their investment. What about all the individuals who will ultimately invest in AMC and can save money? Okay, people do not consider the opinions of others. That is my position. I'm attempting to convince people not to fret about others. They are concerned with themselves. Okay, I've now left the building. I was fortunate. I exited, then re-entered and exited again, and was again fortunate. Okay, I understand the situation. I met Aaron Adam. A couple of topics I'd like to briefly discuss before I leave and basically go hang out. I will ascend to the press box over there. Go. I don't know, perhaps we could have coffee and scones and just chill out during game time. Okay. It's going to be a lovely evening in Southern California. I wish to say the following. These are the feds. It is a major issue. Okay, regarding the feds. When I speak with Adam Aaron in San Diego, he tells me that after this conversion, reverse stock split, and everything else, the feds will essentially cease to exist. Pets entirely vanish. I asked him how that could be possible. How can this be possible? This is what he stated. That is believable. It should be taken with a dash of salt. You are free to utilize it as you see fit. This is the reason I explicitly obtained an AMC, as Adam Aaron himself informed me that fats completely disappear. Now, I am aware that individuals are examining the threshold list. People are considering all of these metrics, including short-term interest rates and borrowing costs. You are observing all of these statistics. But are the figures accurate? Are the figures in fact accurate? Are the statistics that significant? Because retail investors are always the last to know. The numbers do not reveal the entire picture. Perhaps they tell a portion of the story, but not the entire tale. What is the full context? The point I wish to emphasize is that retail investors will never know. We will never understand what is occurring. If Adam Aaron wishes to dilute and place shares on the market, we will not be informed. Therefore, perhaps a day or two after, it will be too late for those who have invested. You have new investors who are currently agreeing who may have invested this week or the previous week and who are currently agreeing. They are fond of AMC. But the OGs, those who have existed since the beginning, have been wiped out. You've lost between 85 and 95% of your accounts. You have been annihilated. You have been demolished. Yes, they are engaging in arbitrage. You're attempting to complete all these tasks. How did things turn out for you? In general, it devastated a large number of individuals who had survived the reverse stock split, the conversion, and all of these other events. It killed a great number of individuals. According to some, AMP would have to reach $350 for the majority of investors to break even. I believe the average is between $350 and $400. People are still recommending that you buy AMC, so do what you want and average down. You are almost without options. People are now saying, well, it's already fallen so much. Why sell even now? Unrealized losses and profits are repeated. I feel you on that point. I am aware of that. However, let me tell your new AMC investors the following. You can accept this recommendation however you wish. This does not constitute financial advice. It is merely counsel. If you are going to invest in the market, do not invest in AMC. Only the quantity of money you are willing to lose should be entered. Because currently, when you're dealing with a heavily manipulated stock, a heavily shorted stock, a stock that's continuously attacked, and a stock for which they don't even tell you the information like they do with the other stock. They simply don't tell you what's going on. Retail investors are always left in the dark. Also, if you intend to invest in, say, AMC, 
be aware that they have hundreds of millions of shares with which they can dilute you to almost nothing. And if you believe that this is the last delusion, you are mistaken. Consider again. Do you believe that this will be the final reverse division involving AMC? Consider again. Before I leave, I'd like to know if Adam Aaron will be around for the next couple of years. Most likely not. Is he essentially going to stay around and see this through? Most likely not. Has he earned multiple millions of dollars? When all is said and done, tens and tens of millions are probably close to being reached. Countless millions. And his family and associates are extremely well taken care of. However, recall this. I'm not here to make money on YouTube. I am not here for the accolades, the notoriety, or the likes. Actually, I could care less. If you wish to subscribe, continue walking. That's all right. Currently, there are many individuals who are lost and there are still people in the world. Ank will also function as distributor for any other theater owners interested in exhibiting the film. Essentially, if other theaters wish to screen the film, they will pay an additional fee to AMC. So, obviously, this has been a wild, crazy occurrence. Everyone has been discussing how influential and significant it is now. Do you believe that these are some of the factors that we should consider when evaluating a company? They must generate money and expand into new areas. Initially, there would have been only a few million. Then it increased to tens of billions. Currently, it could be in the hundreds of billions or even trillions. As a result, we are aware that this could lead to the demise of companies that are overleveraged on AMC. Credit Suisse, whose risk management is exemplary, and who was also implicated in this scandal, has already failed. Consequently, we are plainly aware of the potential power of this, and if the MOs were to occur readily, the majority of AMC shorts would be set in Australia. I will not mention any identities. You are aware of who is still stating AMC, $10,000. If they did not allow you to dash to $75 or $80, what the devil gives you the idea that they'll let you run up to $700, $800, or $1,000? You must be absolutely insane to believe that. I must say that retail investors are always in the dark. I am a member of the retail community. If you cannot accept this, that is fine. There will almost certainly be a difference of opinion. But as for me, I will do what I will do. Roll the dice. I watch out for retail investors, regardless of whether the company is AMC, GameStop, or T. Retail investors are always left in the dark. I am advising you as someone who has been in the trenches and is now out. I was blessed. Currently, a large number of individuals with whom I have spoken personally on the phone are not being demolished. They are being annihilated. They are being annihilated. Now, all they can do is cross their fingers, hope, and pray. Next week, best of success to San Diego State University. I will be there to witness the USC Trojans play Stanford. And I'll probably tell Colorado residents to take it easy. There is peace.